first off, I know I need a haircut, I know. I've been letting myself go, not really. I just haven't had the time. Uh, I wanted to let you guys know how much I've appreciated all the comments that you guys have been putting up. Uh, sharing your stories about where you started, where you're at, and whether it's that or just giving me some words of encouragement, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, I didn't think it would make a difference. Uh, when I first started this vlog, I kind of started it so I could keep some personal accountability of myself uh, and maybe get a couple of people, you know, <laughs> cheered me along, but I never expected uh, the response that I've gotten here. It's ridiculous. I can't believe it. The shared experiences that you guys are giving me in your stories and stuff, kind of like, <sighs> I think the worst thing about taking any kind of new drug is not knowing, uh, you know, what to expect and et cetera, et cetera. And I mean, you could be one of those people that read those little flimsy uh, drug information pamphlets that come with the box, but I can't. And without a magnifying glass, there's no way. Uh, with my ADHD, that also makes it difficult. So I do appreciate the shared experiences, uh, people telling me what to expect. like. Uh, perhaps this week will be the week to talk to my doctor about upping my dose if my uh, blood sugar uh, doesn't yield good with good results and uh, you know spoil alert uh, bad results are coming for this week not happy with them let's put it that way uh, but I'm not discouraged because there's people out there that will tell me that they also have this same problem and that you know, either it passed or up in the dose helped or somebody's gonna tell me something uh, that's gonna relate to my story and that's what I love about it. That's what I love about these comments. So, like I said, I started it to hold myself accountable. Uh, I never imagined how much uh, you guys' comments would help me uh, keep my motivation and not get discouraged. I really appreciate it. Uh, one of the comments that was made was, hey, don't forget to take pictures or measurements of the before and after. So I'm doing that right after this, uh, right at the end of this, I'm gonna strip down to my boxers and I'm gonna do a, a full body shot. But I hate to uh, either disappoint you or, uh, you know, make you happy, but I'm not gonna be releasing those photos, those photos in this video or any video in the near future. I'm gonna hold on to those photos until I get to my goal weight. And when I get to my goal weight, then I will post both sets of photos, the before and the after. But let me tell you why, I'm kind of embarrassed, right? I'm kind of self-conscious of my weight, always have been. Let's get into that in a minute though. So let's just get on with the results because I know I'm holding up some people here that are just like, man, we just want to know, right? How did week five go for you? How did it go? Uh, what are the results of week five on 2.5 milligrams of Monjero? I'm going to tell you. Disappointing results uh, for the week five update. This is what I've got. Uh, my blood sugar high, uh, my all-time high this week was 149. That was last Saturday. That was the day after I gave myself the injection. Uh, and it was 149. I didn't do anything particularly outrageous that night as far as food goes. Uh, but, I mean, you can be the judge. My entire week's uh, food intake and journal and stuff in the description of the video. I mean, maybe I did, maybe I overdid it. Uh, not really though. Uh, my blood sugar low this week was last Wednesday and that was 117. And coincidentally, Thursday, I started feeling uh, pretty peckish. I was getting kind of hungry uh, come Thursday, but the weird thing is, here it is Friday, it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't eaten and I haven't really wanted to. My wife offered to make me breakfast this morning and I turned it down. And then she offered to make me a sandwich or something like a tuna fish sandwich or something. Uh, and I just wasn't hungry. So I turned that down. So I was hungry yesterday. Today I'm in total control, it feels like, and I'm not even in the least bit of hungry. Tonight though, we're gonna have spaghetti and meatballs because Friday is like treat night. I'm gonna eat what I damn well want on Friday nights, even if that messes me up a little bit. Sorry, I know, I could be better. Uh, my numbers could be better, but I am just, look, what can I say? I'm a weak person. <laughs> I'm gonna have variety in my life and that's gonna be in the form of foods and other things. What I won't have anymore though, and I promise, are 
like the chocolates and the cakes and the pies. I might have a small slice of pie on a special occasion. Can't promise that. Anyway, so my blood sugar average this week turned out to be 134.6. 134.6 uh, on the blood sugar average this week. Last week it was 121.1, which was better. So it's up 13.5, right? Not real happy with those results. Now, why? Uh, is it all your overeating and stuff? No, my portions are still very, very small. Even when I do eat, the portions are a fraction of what they used to be. And by that, I mean like at least a quarter. Uh, and that's only the meals that I eat. So I'm skipping. I used to eat three solid meals a day and then snack at night, right? Now I'm maybe eating a light breakfast or something along those lines. And sometimes, you know, a dinner. Uh, not even a heavy dinner. We've been keeping it light. Uh, but I've also been, here's my confession, right? I've also been snacking a little bit at night. It, I don't know if it's just the habit of it or whether I am compelled. I don't know what it is. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to knock off the snacking before 6 p.m. and see how that works because my blood sugar in the morning has been higher this week and I'm not happy with it. Now, could that be uh, because I need to go from 2.5 milligrams of Monjero to five milligrams? Should I take the next step up? We're gonna find out because I'm gonna contact my doctor on Monday and make an appointment as soon as possible in order to talk to her. And then I've also got this message thing. I'll just message her with my, with my uh, you know, self, self-proclaimed lab results of my blood sugar average week to week and tell her that it was an increase this week and what she thought about that. So, and I'm also taking my vlog you know, uh, my journal, which is in the description, this week's par portion is in the description of the video. Other weeks are in the description of those videos, but this week's in the description of this video. I'll just copy that, paste it, and send it to her. And that should tell her everything she needs to know with my numbers at the top, right? With my blood sugar numbers at the top, which this week, very disappointing. Uh, but like I said, I know I'm gonna be encouraged by you guys because there's somebody else that went out that's out there that's gone through this very same thing as me, I promise. Uh, so, and just knowing that makes me feel better about my failure of results this week. So anyway, uh, last week, let's do the weight. Let's get that out of the way and then we can get into talking about some of the changes and stuff that may be in the future and other stuff like my mood and how's my sleep been, right? All right, last week I was at 180.6. This week, drum roll please. I am at 180.2. Half a pound. Okay. I'm going to try to keep my chin up. Uh, I was hoping for more, honestly. Hoping for a little bit more than half a pound or, you know, and I'm rounding up with that. It's 0.4 of a pound, so... Okay, so my blood sugar went up this week. My weight uh, went down, but 0.4 pounds. Okay, 0.4. All right, it's a little disappointing. Got to be honest with you. So I'm down 0.4 this week. So I'm going to try to turn that into a positive and keep my chin up and uh, not let it get me down too much and trust in the system. This may be a good time. And like I said, maybe earlier, I'm going to be contacting my doctor on Monday and making an appointment as soon as possible, reviewing all this stuff with her and sending her, you know, my results throughout these last five weeks and let her know that it's dipped this week. Uh, and this is the first week since we started that I didn't show strong results in the blood sugar department. And I, I showed, you know, almost no results in the weight loss part. But like I keep saying, right, my primary thing is the blood sugar. So I'm mostly disappointed that the blood sugar didn't come out, come down. Uh, but in this one, I was like, well, that came, that didn't come down. Maybe I'll get some good news on the weight. And that didn't really, <laughs> that really didn't pan out either. So I need to make an appointment with my doc. Maybe it's time to go from 2.5 milligrams to 5 milligrams. When did you know if you're on this stuff, if you're on something similar? Uh, when did your... Did your doctor let you know when it was time? Did you were like, 
go to your doctor and say, hey, shit, things aren't happening like they used to, like I'm gonna do, or what was your process to get the higher dose? Was it, is this something that they step you up on because if they start you at the higher dose, you'll just get sick and stop taking it? Uh, do they just step you up so your body can get used to it? Or do they step you up because your body starts building up a resistance to it? Uh, I don't know why I just thought of that, but it's interesting. It's the question is out there and uh, I'm asking you, you guys that asked me in your comments, hey, if you have any questions, let me know. Well, I'm letting you know. I have a question. There you go. Anyway. All right. So sleep. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but my sleep hasn't been as good this week as it has been other weeks. And I must admit, uh, last week, in the middle of the week, I ate a bag of popcorn. I was watching YouTube videos and I popped myself some popcorn. And by the time I knew it, I was, you know, I was down to the last 10 kernels or so. I was digging deep. And uh, I was like, you know what, what the hell? What am I gonna do, save them for tomorrow? And I ate those two, you know what I mean? <laughs> Old thinking, I know, it's terrible, but it was popcorn, so I didn't think it was so bad for me. But the next morning, middle of the morning, I should say, not even the morning, it was the middle of the night, really, I woke up with some bad stomach pains and stuff from that. And uh, you know, I used to eat, able to eat gobs of popcorn, but not anymore. Uh, now I've learned my lesson, at least not that late at night. So, and like I said earlier, I'm going to try to limit any snack I do before 6 p.m., right? I've already cut my water uh, in my electrolyte uh, in intake. I've already cut that. After 7, there's no more of that. And I normally have been rolling to bed around 9 or 10 or so. So things have been going well with the sleep department uh, up until this last week. And then this week I noticed that I had a couple of nights was I was up in the middle of the night uh, and both of those nights I had snacked the previous evening. So maybe that's the key. So we're cutting that out. Let's see what happens this week. So the mood thing, the mood's been better. The mood's been great, actually. I haven't noticed any decline in my mood. Even today with these bad results that I, that I got on my blood sugar, my mood is unchanged. I'm still feeling good. And, uh, and I know that there are gonna be people that telling me what the resolution of my problem is. Or maybe it's not a problem. Maybe this happens to everybody. I don't know. We're gonna find out though. Because you guys have been great uh, about filling me in on your experiences and I know that there's somebody out there that's having this exact, that had this exact same experience that I'm having right now. Maybe they can help me out. Maybe their solution was to up or whatever. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I had somebody private message me. It's crazy. Uh, they said, hey man, uh, you said uh, in one of your first episodes that you would quit smoking uh, after a two pack a day habit for since you were like a teenager. And that is true. Uh, they saw the smoke probably in the rising up in the camera here. It's incense and uh, I burn it uh, because it, I don't know, it, I love the way it smells and it kind of just puts me in a vibe. You know what I mean? Uh, I normally... I'm jumping out of the shower right when I do these because I like to be spick and span when I'm going to be exposing the great white beast of my belly. I like to, I like at least like it to be clean. It may be disgusting, but at least it's going to be clean. You know what I mean? So that's why the incense is going. That's kind of a shower tradition and it's just, it's still burning from the shower. So apologies about the smoke, but that's the explanation. I haven't had a cigarette in years and I have zero desire to smoke, uh, none whatsoever. Uh, so, uh, now, let me tell you, right, this may be why my blood sugar is up this week because I did snack a little bit more than I normally have, but I only snacked, I think, because I've been a little bit more peckish at night. I don't know. Uh, I don't feel like... It's not like it was yelling out to me. So I always went for a healthy something or other. Like one time it was a pear. And then another night it was a handful of nuts. But here's where I went wrong. Uh, I was like, you know, that handful of nuts was pretty good. Maybe I'll just get another handful of nuts. They're nuts. So they got to be healthy, right? The next morning my blood sugar level was kind of kind of high. And maybe because I ate them so late at night, it was around, you know, eight or nine, about an hour or two before I went to bed. That could be it. I don't know. Uh, but that's why I'm 
recording this vlog so I can remember to go look that kind of stuff up or I can get some help from you guys out there in the uh, interweb sphere uh, to help me resolve some of these uh, questions that I have or that I'm coming up with anyway. Anyway, so, <clears throat> all right, my bowel movement's still inconsistent. That sucks. It's like I'm constipated for two days and I notice it and I take my Miralax and then that third day, we're good, right? Real good, like good a couple of times a day, right? And then the next day, not bad, right? And then you're hoping for the best the next day and then that next day is when you're constipated again for a couple of days. Rinse and repeat time after time. That's the, that's the cycle that I've gotten in with uh, using this Miralax. And I don't like using it often because it even says on the bottle, uh, don't use for more than 10 days in a row, right? That makes me think that I can't, it wouldn't make sense to use it for like nine days, stop for one day and then the clock resets itself. That's telling me that there's a buildup of something in your body that they don't want going any higher than a certain level. So 10 days is 10 days. So I'm not real happy with the solution to the constipation problem, uh, but I'll say that it's better than being on some kind of pharmaceutical. So we're just gonna keep going with it until somebody tells me not to do it, right? All right, so uh, as far as headaches and stuff like that, I haven't had any this week. Uh, None of whatsoever, not even close, not even, you know, once in a while you get that little twinge and be like, ooh, is that a headache coming on? I haven't even had that. Not, none of that stuff at all. Uh, zero queasiness this week. In fact, uh, I haven't really experienced it since the first week or so. So uh, no queasiness. But all these people that are saying, hey, this is one of the reasons why they step you up on this stuff because higher doses are gonna make you queasier and queasier, but also higher doses are gonna make you lose more weight and your A1C is gonna come down even further. So I'm not discouraged that my blood sugar is not great this week. It's okay, it's not great. Uh, I'm not discouraged because I know that when my doctor finds that out, she's gonna have a solution for me or it's my body just leveling out at the time. We're gonna find out. Anyway, uh, I have eaten more uh, this past week than I have the previous weeks. And we did go out one night. Uh, we had to, my wife has been jonesing for this place called Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen that just opened, didn't just open, but you know, within the last year or so it opened up in Oklahoma City. So we went down to Ramsay's Kitchen, we made a reservation and I had the fish and chips, not because I was being cheap either. I, uh, I went to school in England uh, as, a, as a child. My dad was an RAF exchange officer and uh, I went to an English school in a little town called Welton, England. Uh, so just a weird tidbit. I don't even know why that came to me. Uh, a lot of old memories that I thought I'd forgotten about are coming back. So it's really crazy how clear my head has, has been since being put on this stuff. It's a lot better. And I don't know if it's since being put on this or since my uh, blood sugar level has dropped to a point where I can think clearly now, I just heard that that can be a cognitive uh, disadvantage. Your blood sugar levels being high can, can definitely affect your cognitive abilities. So this is what we're dealing with, you guys. This lap over, and this is new in the back too. I don't know if this is because I'm losing a little bit of to, of meat capacity that was holding that taunt a little bit, but I'm starting to get some fat rolls in the back and we need to work on that because I'm not having that, right? So anyway, it's time for week uh, six. This is week six. It's time for week six. Uh, I'm still on the 2.5 milligrams of Monjaro. I've got two more injectors of 2.5 left in this batch and that will take me out to eight weeks. This is week six. So the end of week five, the beginning of week six, and I did get some tips on this. Somebody sent me a tip that says, you don't need to pinch the fat, Ben. Don't be an idiot, quit pinching the fat. Just put it up against your skin and inject, right? So upon verification research, He's right, you don't need to pinch the fat. So uh, we're gonna 
demonstrate that today. This will be my first time without giving it a big pinch and, and doing that stuff. We're just going to put it right up against the side. And again, right, the unlock lock button. If you're going to unlock it, don't push that purple button because once that purple button is pushed, you're done with this injector. So let's just get on with it and quit with the talking. Man, I talk too much, man. I mean, I don't know where it comes from. I'm pretty quiet at home. Uh, but when I start doing these, I feel like more talkative. So, all right, so we clean the area with the alcohol. Look at that thing, man. That's still a lot smaller than it was uh, five weeks ago. It's still a lot smaller. Okay, so we're gonna try the, uh, the injection the way that I've been uh, told to on the comments and the way that I've uh, looked up and confirmed that you don't need to really grab a big thing of fat. In fact, it might be not be the best thing. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and take the cap off. I just cleaned with uh, rubbing alcohol there. I got the cap off, right? Uh, I'm going to arm it now by twisting it from the lock to the unlock position. Now it's going to go off if I push it. And we're just going to go straight into it, right? Two inches away from the belly button is what they say. We're going into the left side. I'm just holding it like against my belly now. Let's just do it this way. So I'm just holding it against my belly right now. I'm gonna push this button and somebody told me to wait until after I hear the, 12, the second click, wait for like 12 seconds. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. Okay, that's the second click. So they said wait for 12 seconds, 2,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000. So uh, that's another 2.5 milligrams of Monjero injected. Uh, this is gonna be, uh, this is the start of week six, right? The end of week five was this week. The beginning of six week is coming up, of week six is coming up. Again, I'm gonna keep a daily uh, journal of what I eat, what happens, you know, how my stuff's going. Uh, and you can see that in the description of my videos. This week's Week, uh, week five's uh, vlog will be put in the description of this video. So go have a peek if you're wondering if I'm eating too much and you can call me out on it by all means in the comments, or you can say really that's not, you're not being too outrageous with that. Your blood sugar should be low or maybe you should be on the next bigger dose. I'd love to hear from you anyway, talk to you later and we'll see you next Friday. Thanks for hanging out, appreciate it.